Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I uh, want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Ken. I've been a mechanic for about 25 years. Uh, I've been working on cars. It's something that I love to do. Uh, a couple of years ago, I started teaching, and I really enjoy teaching. And as, a t as an instructor, I, I like to go on YouTube and try to find videos uh, of things of what I'm talking about. And, and I, you can find them out there, but it's tough to find them out there. And, and some of them have things in them that aren't good. Um, no jack stands. Um, just just little mistakes. Not Nothing huge, but and there are some out there that are really good, and there are some out there that are really bad. So what I want to do is I want to start putting together some videos um, to show my students, and hopefully so that others out there can learn how to do things. Um, the way I'm going to break them down is I'm going to break them down into different different ways of doing them. One will be the DIY way, in other words, the way that you guys, most of you guys, are going to want to see to do the stuff yourself. The other way is going to be the professional way, the way you, it's done when you take a, a car to a shop, and they, they, the way they do it there. And then the last way, which is not always the same as the other two, the last one is the ASE way. That's the way that it's done when you want to take the tests, and sometimes it's not the same. Um, there are different examples of that, and as we go through, we'll, we'll see the different examples of that. Um, the one that comes to mind that I always think of uh, as an example is uh, when you do rear brakes on a car that has rear drums. The, the way it's done on the DYI is they like to take things apart and they have a hard time getting them back together because rear drum brakes are not an easy thing. There's a lot of little parts and people forget how it's done. And the biggest mistake they'll do is they'll take both sides apart. And then they have nothing to go by. Uh, my suggestion if you're going to try something like this is to take one side apart, use the other side as an example of how it went back together, Another way you can do it today is you can take pictures of it before you take it apart, uh, which will help. But when you have an actual part that's there and it's together and you can see how everything goes together, that's the best way to do it. And that's the way the pros do it. Now, in, 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 a, in a brake job that's done out in the field, out in the real shop, what the way they usually do it is um, they'll do what's needed. Um, in other words, if it needs shoes, they do shoes, they cut the drums, um, replace the drums, whatever's needed. The ASC way is to re replace or rebuild those wheel cylinders every time because as the rear brakes are used and they're moved out, what can happen is you can get rust around the outside um, for moisture because, again, the brake fluid probably hasn't been serviced like it's supposed to be. And what will happen is when you go to do new brakes, you push those back in and you can run them over what's it put, what are pits inside there or little, little tiny holes and the new rear brakes could fail due to a leak by tearing those, those boots. So the proper way to do it, the ASC way to do it, is to rebuild or replace those wheel cylinders. So that's just an example, and I think that's the best one. All right. Um, how am I going to do this? Well, there's a, there's, there's a couple things I want to do. One is I have these GoPros that I'm going to put everywhere. Okay, this one's going to go on my head. So you're going to see what I'm doing as I'm doing it and how I'm doing it. So this, is, this will probably be your main view, the big view. And then these will be placed all over the engine compartment or under the car in different areas that will allow me to do the job uh, and you can see it in different angles. Because you're going to see angles I'm not going to be able to see with the places I'm going to put these. All right? And I have other cameras that I'm going to use and they, they can go anywhere. And again, the GoPros work great. All right? So I'm going to try to have some fun with it. Hopefully we'll all learn something and uh, hope you'll enjoy yourself. So please. Um, like, subscribe, and enjoy the videos. Thank you.